Welcome to the Crypto Lab channel. In this video, I will talk about Decentraland price prediction and Decentraland news today. If you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Write in the comments your price forecast for Decentraland in 2022. Decentraland Mana, defines itself as a virtual reality platform based on the Ethereum blockchain that allows users to create, serve and monetize content and applications. In this virtual reality, users buy land that they can later navigate, build on, and monetize. Decentraland was launched following a $24 million initial coin offering, ICO, that took place in 2017. Virtual World launched its closed beta in 2019 and opened to the public in February 2020. Since then, users have created a wide range of experiences on their land sites, including interactive games, extensive 3D scenes, and many other interactive experiences. Decentraland was created by Ariel Milik and Esteban Ordano, who have retired from their core roles on the project, but are still working with Decentraland as advisors. So let's start with the most important news of the past days about Decentraland. Mana price prediction. Mana sellers breach major support levels. Will Mana price revisit $2 support? On March 7th, the D-E-C-E-N-T-R-A-L-A-N-D, Mana, sellers took the final leap and breached the continuation symmetrical triangle pattern. Today, the coin price gives a retest to the breach support, where the long wick rejection candle suggests a potential 15% fall. The Mana chart shows higher price rejection at its flip $2.4 resistance. The 24-hour trading volume in the Decentraland token is $430 million, indicating an 8% gain. Over the past two months, the Mana United States dollar pair resonated within a symmetrical triangle pattern. Furthermore, the recent correction phase initiated from the February 9th date chai GH $3.54, devalued the altcoin by 33%, and plunged to the $2.4 support. The coin chart shows a confluence of important technical support at the $2. For level, i.e., Voltaire hosted, though. Greener and areas launched OpenZeppelin, a smart contract security and auditing firm. Among their clients are Ethereum Foundation, Coinbase, Compit, and Brave. Darius Nadermanis and other members of the Casa Voltaire years later founded Muin, a crypto wallet famous for its simple design and ease of use. It's actually a Bitcoin only wallet, but let's not blame the nation or the author for the mistake. Esteban Ordano, one of the founders of Decentraland, the most successful company in terms of listing, to emerge from Casa Voltaire. But just how successful? Well, when Zuckerberg changed the name to Meta, Decentraland's value went from $1.6 billion to $7 billion, the same price as the New York Times. At the market's peak, the company was worth $12 billion. With its own tokens totaling around $6 billion, Decentraland, strictly a DAO, is the first crypto unicorn in Argentina. Quotes from the protagonists The article quotes Demian Briner, Open Zeppelin's CEO and co founder, Bear Run, and bearish at the top of a bull run. Considering how Eng has lost 75% of its value, the recent increase in transactions worth $100,000 or more from 6 to 40 reveals an optimistic outlook for Engine Coin. While things are looking up for Eng, market participants need to exercise caution as a pullback may be around the corner. Moreover, the uncertainty around Bitcoin could lead to a suboptimal outlook for Engine Coin. Perhaps the most interesting metric is the supply of Eng held on exchanges. This index can be used to determine the potential sell side pressure for an asset. For Engine Coin, the holdings of Eng have increased from 403 million to 417 million. This net 14 million uptick in Eng entering centralized exchange wallets indicates that these investors might sell in case of a flash crash, compounding the sell side pressure and causing more losses. Therefore, market participants need to exercise caution when investing in Engine Coin. And second news about Metaverse Fashion Week 70 brands do their best to showcase style in Decentraland. Decentraland kicked off Metaverse Fashion Week, a combination of high-end designers and wearables vendors flaunting non-fungible token NFT, collections in the blockchain-based virtual world. Brands such as Estee Lauder, Tommy Hilfiger, Dolce & Gabbana and Forever 21 are all participating in the virtual fashion event. Many spend weeks laying claim to Metaverse-ready trademarks and what now appears to have been a preemptive brand protection strategy ahead of their NFT premiere. With the rise of digital goods and metaverse shopping experiences, Decentraland's Fashion Week seeks to provide a space for people to express themselves and expand the understanding of their own self through wearables on their avatars, said Sam Hamilton. Since such force could not emerge in the first world, where citizens trust their governments, their currency, their institutions and their banks. In retrospect, it makes a lot of sense that something like Voltaire would have happened in Argentina. It also quotes Decentraland's founder and Casa Voltaire alumni Esteban Ordano speaking about what made the place special. At lunch, breaks, and downtime, we made time for deep conversations. Technological change and its impact on society were undoubtedly an important axis. 
Politics and economics were also present, but without stigmatization. We discussed ideas without judging those who brought them. Last but not least, the author quotes Mutants Darius and Dermanus. The fundamental thing here is to understand the timing. There are many ideas, from WEB3, that are going to happen, but it is difficult to know exactly when, because they depend on mass adoption, or on certain technologies, that need better development. The Casa Voltaire mystery what happened in that house in Palermo, Buenos Aires. The original article's author couldn't find enough information about the founder's time there. Is there a reason for that? The article quotes an anonymous programmer. Low profile personality is one explanation, but also security issues, and not raising your head at a time when regulations and tax burden on the sector are supposed to increase. How much will Decentraland cost in 2025, or how much will Decentraland cost in 10 years? Guessing price fluctuations and predicting future prices is a hell of a task. Decentraland Price Prediction 2022. It appears that by 2022, Decentraland, Mana, prices will hit a level similar to their previous all-time high. For 2022, we can expect the average rate to be $3.70. If everything goes smoothly, we predicted that Decentraland's maximum price could be up to $4.21 in 2022. Of course, there are chances that the market will fall after a long bull run, and this is normal for the cryptocurrency market. Decentraland Course Forecast 2023 Mana has great potential, with certain interactions and innovations, it is possible to increase the number of users in advertising. If the market focuses on investing in Decentraland, the price could rise much higher. By 2023, it may reach a maximum value of $6.18. Mana is expected to reverse slightly if the market goes down. The year 2023 could end with an average price of $5.37, a minimum price of $5.19, and a maximum price of $6.18. Decentraland Course Prediction 2024. In 2024, with wider adoption in partnerships between other important blockchain networks, Decentraland price will skyrocket. The maximum trading price could reach $9.01 in 2024. The price ranges will be very trendy if we stick to them. If all goes well, we can expect an average price of $8.04 with a maximum price of $9.01 for 2024. Price Mana Forecast 2025. For a long-term forecast of the Decentraland price, basic analysis is important. In terms of industry benefits, the native token offers several. The autonomy of the digital economy makes it ideal. As DAP and stablecoins evolve, the network offers competitive programmable payment, logistics, and storage options. There is a possibility that the average price of mana will rise to around $11.46 by 2025 if the idea attracts more investors. For 2025, the year could end with a maximum price of $13.49 with a minimum price. Level $11.13. Mana Rate Prediction 2026. Mana will be seen as the best option, and with a huge community, the Decentraland rate will reach new highs. Price swings are hard to predict, especially if the market is more bullish or bearish than ever. For the year 2026, the Decentraland rate will be almost $16.85. The maximum bet we can get is $20.02. Decentraland average price prediction for the end of 2026 could be around $17.30. A huge price turnover is expected in the range determined by the cryptocurrency market. Mana price prediction 2027. A flawless approach to this currency can be found on many websites and forums. According to this prediction platform, Decentraland will remain at its current level for a very long time. By 2027, Mana is expected to peak at $29.37. The minimum bid could rise to $24.21 if the market turns bullish.